tune in. And I hope y'all are staying safe and cozy and comfy. Um, and as you're tuning in, I would love to hear where you're tuning in from and let me know what the weather is like where you're at. It is snowing here, um, even though it's been like 60 plus and totally spring for like the last two or three weeks and then the last like four days have been like this I think what people here like to call like second third and fourth winter you know all the mini winters that we get before we actually get real spring so some Amazon goodies came in today for some of my DIY projects that I've been working on um, as you guys saw in my last video I'm working on an Easter egg bath bomb collection um, so I've got, um, I've actually got those over here, and I know I took pictures, um, and I posted them, but I just wanted to show you all close and personal, um, how they're turning out. So I put them back in the cases, um, because they were starting to split and crack, <laughs> um, but I'm really happy with how the colors turned out. They were super, super pretty, um, and if they'll come back out, okay, here we go. Like, they actually, I actually kind of like it. Like, I was not, I was not really happy to begin with, with like the whole, like the blue and pink, the way it turned out, just me being piggy. But, um, this is one big pass bomb. <laughs> um, it ended up, like, in real life, it seems a lot bigger than it did when I was making it, which, mm, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's okay. It's a little, like, it just, it's bigger than I feel like it needs to be, um, but I don't have, I don't have like an actual, well, I kind of do, um, but I've got all of my other, like the sweet oranges drying. Where, where did they go? I had, I want to show you all, like all of the colors, like together to see, like to actually like see the collection coming together, like as a whole, like last night, Y'all got to see like the little individuals coming together. Um, and next, well, as it gets closer to Easter, hey Hannah, what's up? Hey Catherine, how are you guys? Thanks so much for hopping on. Um, as it gets closer to Easter, I will probably get um, like some actual uh, Easter baskets. Um, it would be, I, it, personally, like it would be super, super dope if I could do even like three Easter baskets with like a dozen eggs a piece. See like this one right here was a little bit ah this one has a little bit of an oopsie like it's starting to crack a little bit but I mean like you could totally like you know count that into the whole like little chickies hatching if you were imaginative enough. Um, <laughs> and I think this little dish is just a tad bit on the small side but um, nonetheless, like ideally, like I want to do like three baskets, um, with like a dozen eggs each in different colors and different, uh, fragrances. And then if they turn out well enough, then I can send them as gifts for Easter or do like an Easter basket giveaway. Um, I still like, there's so many things I can do, but right now, like I'm just focusing on just like trying to get them made and stocked up and like polish up my skills so that I know what I'm doing and I'm like I can be confident that they'll look like they'll look they'll smell and they'll go fizzy the way they're supposed to um without any like oopsies um once they're made so oh my goodness <laughs> like stuff like this gets me really 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 excited um it ends up like I'm I gotta admit it's way more complicated well it's not complicated per se but it takes it's a lot more time consuming than I gave it credit for being um you know let's take all of these right here for now I'm gonna make a mess it's fine um I just want to like see them all together like I want to do different like I said the other night like doing different sizes as well as the different colors um and shapes uh and then so for some of the ones I did last night y'all saw me do um embeds I did try one of the embeds today just by itself um 
and I didn't hate it. Uh, I was I was happy with how it turned out for a first try, but I think there's still room for improvement. Um, it was de definitely was like did like its little spinny thing, um, but I think maybe I could make them a little bigger next time. Uh, I wasn't sure like with the concentration how big or how small like I wanted them to be, so I did like tea the like teaspoon sizes and then put them inside um last night's eggs but this one this one was my favorite like this one i think turned out really really pretty i just really like like the blue and the purple um but yeah anyways so this is this is what they look like so far and they look way better now that they're all together it looks like i'm actually getting somewhere which is super exciting um they're, they still have room for improvement, like I said, but I'm really excited just because, like, they didn't totally flop. They mostly did what they were supposed to, and I didn't entirely screw them up like I thought I might. Um, like, with a lot of things when you do them the first couple times, like, it can take, like, half a dozen tries before you actually get it to look like it's supposed to look. Um, so I'm really happy with how they, like, how they look. Um, and... a couple or a handful I don't know um, some resources to help me with some of my DIYs um, including the bath bombs but not limited to um, so I've been trying to teach myself macrame so I think I got myself some rope we'll see um, and then I think I also got some bath like actual bath bomb molds because like the Easter eggs are super fun but Easter only lasts for so long um, and the Easter eggs only like work so well for a molding carrier, whatever. So I got myself some actual, like an actual set of bath bomb molds, which will hopefully make the process a little easier in keeping them um, an ideal size because we don't want it to be overpowering or just like over. Um, what's the word? much <laughs> we don't want them to be too much we want them to be like enough we want them to be like as luxurious as they can be without like just like being irrelevantly big so let's see what we've got in here oh i see colors i see colors oh oh, oh. <laughs> okay all right okay so those were the only two things that i got Some more coming I don't know but let's take a look because <laughs> I've wanted I've wanted back ball mold like this for a while um but I wasn't sure where to find them and then when I finally did find them on Amazon the first time I was like <sighs> like the amount and the price just it, it, it didn't resonate with me I was like no nope, no nope. so I put it in my bat in my bag or my cart or whatever because some, you know how sometimes like you'll put stuff in your cart and then you just leave it there and then a couple days later Amazon's like, oh hey, you left stuff in your cart, we gave you an extra 10% off or whatever. Like sometimes they do that for me. Um, they didn't do it this, this time, but I did end up finding a better, hopefully, or a more, a set with more options, put it that way. <laughs> um, so I think it looks like we got three sizes here which is perfect. So I can do like an assortment of sizes and they're all, well, they're made of metal and they're like these little, I don't know how they're supposed to like, see now my question is how do these stick together to like, I mean that kind of makes sense, but at the same time, like how do, like, aren't they supposed to like connect somehow? I don't know. Anyone else, like, <laughs> anybody else have experience with bath bombs? Like, I, you know, I might just have to go to, like, YouTube or something and be like, okay, bath bombs for dummies, how do I use these? <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, I'm just gonna, like, they go something like this. I mean, yeah, so they're just, like, these little, like, I'm guessing, like, aluminum, like, shears, and then we've got, oh, maybe we have four sizes here. Or is this size supposed to go inside that one? I don't think so. Ah, oh, that's another. <laughs> that's another dilemma for another moment. 
Um, but let's take a look at my squeaky linear so I don't lose any of the pieces. Um, and y'all know I am a sucker for color, especially certain pastels and vibrants. Um, and <laughs> uh, so I got some macrame ta like hangings for my uh, for my room a couple weeks back. Um, and then I started watching like YouTube tutorials and I was like, oh, that would actually be like, that's something I could do. So I started trying it with embroidery thread and it did not go so well. Like, I mean, I'm gonna actually show you guys. <laughs> um, I don't know how well this will show up on camera, but this is how far, this is like as far as I managed to get. Um, I might need like a white background or anything. Like you can see something kind of starting to come together, but it was just really frustrating because like the thread is so small, it takes forever um, to actually like see what I'm doing. Um, so like I said, like I got some of the knots down, then I found like this paracord, so I started working with the paracord a little bit, and it it's a lot nicer, but it's still not quite what I was looking for. Um, so I think I'm gonna do. Um, like I'll probably do more of this just because I love like the color, this tie dye going on. Um, like I still want to do something with it macrame wise, but you can only get so far with 18 feet of rope. So that's why I got these beautiful spools or whatever. So we've got, um, so we've got, oh, I love, oh, <laughs> like I love, so we got green, we got blue. Um, and I definitely want to do some color my color mixing. Um, just like we got purple. Y'all know I love my purple. We got some orange. Like, ooh, we got some. I got some red and some yellow. Maybe I'll have to make myself some McDonald's stuff, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then, ooh, we got a darker green. And then we've got this. Okay, so it looks like we have a like a bright white, and then a, like an ivory white. So like they're both white, but one's like white white, and the other one's kind of like a like a nice like a warm ivory. Um, so I feel like this would be like really nice. Um, like add like a like a shading, like a shadow ish kind of. Um, visual to a piece um I mean at this point I have almost no idea what I'm doing but I have all this time on my hands when I'm not working and I really want to oh we've got another oh this is this is a pretty blue I mean not that the other one's not pretty but we've got a lighter blue and then like a, a baby cotton candy pink and then we have the all-important black so I'm really happy with what I got, like how much I got for how much I paid. Um, a lot of what, a lot of sites on Amazon were only selling like one or two rolls for like 16 bucks and I was like, um, no, no, there's better somewhere and I will scroll and search and filter and scroll and search and filter and refresh until I find what I'm looking for if it takes me four weeks. Um, and this time I found, was it like three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I found a dozen rolls for probably 20 bucks. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see like how, how this changes, um, the way my macrame goes. And then as if, <laughs> as if I didn't have enough to keep me busy, um, I've got a couple of things. I mean, as long as, as long as I'm here, I got a couple things from Walmart to, ouch, tie me over. So, snackies, cosmic brownies, because they're cheap, they're chocolatey, and I'm less likely to binge eat them, even when I'm watching Netflix, Netflix, um, like, I'm not, definitely not gonna say they're healthy, but I, I really liked them because like they're, they satisfy that sweet tooth craving at like 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, or like I said, when I'm watching Netflix and I have 
like I'm watch I will watch like three episodes or four episodes at a time if I'm if I don't have something more intellectually stimulating going on in the background to kind of like alternate with um so along the terms of more intellectual stuff <laughs> um so I found this cute journal which I, I definitely don't need any more notebooks I'm like trying to fill up all the ones I have um but this one has a special purpose um I'm in the process of writing a sort of book for a friend um based on like notes and conversations that we've had in the past and just kind of like kind of like like not a memories book but like um for anyone who's into like mbti types and zodiac and like stuff like that like this is like a like a profile book um and i'm really excited because it's i can finally like i feel like i like my 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 data digging research whatever however like menial or superfluous it may end up being like it has it has a purpose for the time being and i think that's really cool it gets me going um and it kind of like it's just it's what i do it's what what makes me happy um and i got my all important can opener that i've been forgetting to get for like eight weeks now <laughs> so i can finally open some of the cans of food in my cupboard which means i can make a stir fry for supper tonight <laughs> Yee! <laughs> so I've got some cans of like olives and um, it might just be the olives that I wanted. Hold on, I'm gonna turn this and I'm gonna go see it because now I'm curious. I don't remember what exactly I had going on in my cupboard. to eat these for ages and kept forgetting the can opener so <laughs> win for me I remembered it and so yeah I hope you guys got some entertainment some value from this if you did go ahead and drop me a 10 in the comments below um I'm gonna go make some supper and I hope you guys have a great rest of your night I hope you stay safe and warm and cozy and I will be back next time with more content <laughs>